What's up, what's up? It's your boy RVA from VA, Richmond to be exact. And I need you guys to do a couple favors for me. Hit that like button, subscribe, and definitely, definitely comment. Love to hear from you guys. It's a show for the fans, by the fans. Peace. What up, what up? It's your boy, RBA from VA, Richmond to be exact, and I'm back again, back like I never left. Yeah, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are officially one week away from Commander's Training Camp. Yes, I said it, one week, as we take on the 2022 football season with not only a new name, but also a new quarterback under center, and that quarterback name is Carson Wentz. Super exciting to see what Scott Turner is able to do with this new quarterback as he will be able to spread the ball among our weapons on offense that we have added this offseason among Terry McLaurin as he signed his massive contract as well. Things to note going into training camp is on offense, the tight end room. Really want to see how that room shakes out. As we know, Logan Thomas is coming off of ACL injury, and we also drafted Cole Turner uh, in the NFL draft this offseason. So that will be one of the intriguing stories to follow closely throughout training camp. As well, Curtis Samuel at the receiver position. Ben reports from Ron Rivera that he is healthy, but at the same token, the last couple of days of mini camp, he was noted to be on the south field, on the bike. As we know, last season, he spent a lot of time there as he was supposedly rehabbing his hamstring uh, injury. Now, with that being said, on the defense side of the ball, two key positions to key on is the linebacker position, as we all know, as Ron Rivera and his staff decided not to take a linebacker in this draft, which surprised a lot of the fans, um, as we believe that that is one of the areas of weakness if one key guy goes down due to injury, uh, we will see how they fill that void. And then as well, I question the depth at the cornerback position as well. Because after you look at the top guys in that room, then we're looking at guys that we don't know if they will have the ability to step up if need be. Also, we drafted um, Christian Holmes, a uh, cornerback from Oklahoma State. We'll see if he's able to mince that uh, that hole and be a key death piece in that cornerback room as we will see how things shape up. Uh, we lost Landon Collins due to restructuring his contract and then asking him to take less money again. Landon Collins decided to walk. Um, there is smoke that maybe possibly he could end up back in Washington, but thus far that has not happened. Uh, Terry McLaurin, as we know, signed his contract um, and believes that this team is poised to f for a postseason run this year, as I also believe that to be true, as I believe we now have Carson Wentz under center. Uh, it is going to be very important that Carson Wentz can come out of this training camp healthy. As we know, here in Washington, we have had plenty of issues with health at the quarterback position. So hopefully, hopefully we can avoid that this training camp and start the regular season with a healthy roster uh, at all key positions. Now, also, I would like to note that Ron Rivera has seemed to be mentioning his two defensive tackles a lot when speaking of the defensive line. Uh, we know we have Montez Sweat and Chase Young. Chase Young, who is rehabbing from an ACL injury, but he seems to be favoring the two defensive tackles. And also, Warren Sapp, who spent a couple of days with us in minicamp in the OTAs, spoke highly of the two defensive tackles as well. As a thing to note is he said John Allen will be moving around on the defensive line this year, and they also are going to have John Allen coming off of the edge. As we know, John Allen had a Pro Bowl year last year, and I'm excited to see what Jack Del Rio in the defensive line coach decides to do with this defensive line. As last year, I believe, one of the issues was them not changing things up and having these guys just stay on their sides of the field and rushing um, and not making impacts. Now, with that being said, I said earlier, injuries is going to be a key point. Um, we don't want to lose any key pieces uh, because I would love to see this roster at full health um, going into the season and, you know, running this schedule and seeing how we fare. As I do believe 
this team is a playoff team and i believe we have the ability truly and honestly to possibly win a game or two in the postseason but right now everything is on paper and all we can do is speculate now here at command respect tv we will be following training camp in depth with updates to you guys as you know this is a show for the fans by the fans um you guys are most important. Um, I do want to thank you for all of the support thus far as this channel will continue to grow and get better with your support and your hope and your help. Uh, I appreciate all of the feedback and I welcome more feedback. As like I said, here at Command Respect TV, we will continue to grow and also come with all Commander content. Like I said, appreciate you guys. It's your boy RBA from VA, Richmond to be exact. Peace.